Growing food. All living things need food. Food helps us to grow. It gives us energy to perform various activities. We get food from both plants and animals. We have already learned that green plants are producers. Only they can produce their own food. They provide food to all other living things. With the increase in human population, the demand for food has also increased manyfold. In order to provide food for such a large population, regular production and storage of food is required. Farming in India India is an agricultural country. Nearly 70% of the population living in villages. Agriculture is their main occupation. Types of farming Some farmers own large farmlands. They grow large quantities of food crops which they sell in the market. This type of farming in which food is grown in surplus to sell in the market for profit is called commercial farming. In contrast, small farmers barely manage to raise enough food to meet the needs of their family members. This type of farming that meets basic survival needs is called subsistence farming. Very few farmers have their own land. Most farmers work on the lands of other people on daily wages or they are given pieces of land on rent or lease. If a farmer is unable to pay the rent, sometimes he has to give away all the crop grown by him to the landlord. Types of Crops When plants of the same kind are grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale, it is called a crop. For example, a crop of rice or paddy means that all the plants grown in a field are of rice. The climatic condition in India vary from one place to another. Hence, a variety of crops are grown in different parts of the country. There are three major types of crops grown in different seasons in India. Kharif crops, Ravi crops and Zad crops. Kharif crops The crops which are grown in the rainy season from June to September are called Kharif crops. For example, paddy, groundnut, cotton, maize, soya bean, etc. Rubby crops The crops grown in the winter season from October to March are called rubby crops. For example, wheat, pea, mustard, gram, etc. Zad crops The crops that are grown for short periods are called Zad crops. They are grown between the harvest of the rabi crops and the sowing of the kharif crop. For example, seasonal fruits and vegetable. Stages of crop production. The cultivation of crops involves a series of activities. These activities are known as agricultural practices. The agricultural practices are given in the flowchart below. Preparation of soil, sowing of seeds, adding manure and fertilizers, irrigation, harvesting, threshing and winnowing, storage. Preparation of soil. The soil is first loosened using plows or tractors. The process of loosening or turning of the soil is called tiling or plowing. It has the following advantages. It allows deep penetration of the roots. It helps in the growth of earthworms and microbes. Nutrient-rich soil comes back to the top which benefits the growth of plants. Sowing of seeds. Good quality seeds are selected to sow. Seeds are sown at a distance to prevent overcrowding. Nowadays, Farmers use high-yielding variety HYB seeds developed by scientists which are disease resistant. They yield good quality crops, however, they require more water. Adding manure and fertilizers 
the substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manure and fertilizers. They are added because growing crops continuously makes the soil poor in certain nutrients. Lack of sufficient nutrients in the soil results in the production of weak crop. Manure and fertilizers replenish the soil with nutrients. Irrigation Water is important for proper growth of the crops. Germination of seeds does not take place in dry conditions and the distribution of rainfall is different at different places. Thus, for production of good quality crops, fields are watered regularly. The extra supply of water to the crops at different intervals is called irrigation. The sources of irrigation are wells, tube wells, ponds, rivers, lakes, dams, and canals. There are various methods of irrigation like drip irrigation, sprinkler irrigation, etc. Harvesting the process of cutting and gathering crops after they are mature is called harvesting. The crops are pulled out or cut close to the ground. It is done either manually using sickles or through machines. Thrashing It is the process of loosening the edible part of the crop from the scaly, unedible shaft that surrounds it. It can be done manually or through machines. We knowing in this process the threshed crops are tossed in the air to separate the lighter particles of chaff, dirt and even pests from them. It is done using a winnowing fan. Storage The harvested crops need to be kept safe from moisture, insects and rats. Hence they need to be stored safely. Some steps for proper storage are The grains are dried in the sun to reduce moisture in them. Farmers store grains in jute bags or in metallic bins. The large-scale storage of grains is done in silos and granaries to protect them from pests like rats and insects. Agriculture now and then With changing time and requirement, the techniques of agriculture have also changed to ensure a better yield of crops. Better quality, high yielding seeds are used by farmers today. Traditional farming instruments were sickles, blows, drawn by bullocks, etc. Nowadays, modern machinery like tractors, seed drills, combined harvesters, etc. are used. Water wheel has been replaced by tube wells and canal irrigation for watering the crops instead of manure, chemical fertilizers and compost are being used today. Assistance from the government The farmer needs financial assistance for modern agricultural practices. To improve the life of farmers, the following steps should be taken by the government. Adequate irrigation facilities should be provided to them. Good quality seeds, fertilizers, machines, etc. should be made available at subsidized prices. Farmers should be ensured a good price for their produce. Preservation and processing of food. The stable food in our diet includes wheat, rice, pulses, fruits and vegetables. Since crops are grown in surplus, they should be preserved and processed till they are utilized. Some non-seasonal and perishable fruits and vegetables like apples, bananas, peas, potatoes, etc. are kept in cold storage. This keeps them fresh and makes them available in the off-season. Growth of the Processing Industry Processing is the treatment of food substance to preserve them 
and improve their quality. With the growth of food processing industry, a variety of processed food is available in the market. Food and vegetable processing, tomato ketchups, fruit juices, dehydrated and frozen vegetables, canned mushrooms, cornflakes, fruit jams, pickles, squashes, etc. are some of the processed food. Milk processing. Milk is processed in large quantities to make milk food, cheese, and skimmed milk, meat, fish, and poultry processing. The meat of animals like sheep, goat, pigs, and buffaloes are processed for further use. Fish and poultry meat is processed and preserved by freezing, salting, or canning. Grain processing. All major grains like wheat, paddy, barley, joar, bajra, and ragi are grounded in milling factories.